What's up everybody, this is Thibaut from Steam Studio. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to add some dust into your shot. So we're gonna use Cinema 40, Redshift, some volumetric lighting, and we're gonna make the compositing into Nuke. So let's jump in. So we are now into Cinema 4D, and as you can see, I just uh, create this simple scene using classical model techniques, but also volume builder and different stuff like this. I use JG material for the brick shader, and I do the rest. And now, what we have here. So we have something like this. And um, it's a very simple scene with just the, you know, just the light moving around and the camera just move a little bit. The goal is to have here some dust in this, but we don't want to create uh, a ton of particles and stuff like this and using it in post, etc. We're gonna use Nuke uh, to just add some dust into this uh, shaft of light here. So to render this out, I need to go to my AOV here, and this is what I've got. I've got my beauty, I've got a Z def in min def here because I'm using uh, the Z defocus from um, from Nuke. I have a cryptomate uh, with the ID type of material name, and I have uh, an ambient occlusion, and of course my volume lighting AOV. And the volume lighting AOV is going to give me the ability to have this. I'm going to use this as a mask. Uh, to put some dust on it. The next thing we need to do is to export three things. The first thing I need to export is the RS camera. So I already did it, but you can do it by export select and alembic. Here I'm going to put this into nuke. Actually, I'm going to do this one more time. And yes. And here uh, I'm choosing the 0 to 100 which is my timeline, selection only, and camera. And it just exports my camera. But I also need a simple thing here. I need um, the animation here of the, not the animation, but the placement. So I need the, the, the wall here and I need the light. So I'm going to choose this and I'm going to choose the wall, file, and choose export, lambic, and I'm just going to do this, 0 to 100, selection only, don't need any camera, and OK. And that's it. So we need to render this out, and next, go to Nuke. OK, so the render is finished, we are in Nuke. I just import my render here, my EXR render, I just imported my Cryptomate. So for the dust, I'm using the Action VFX uh, dust. Uh, go check it uh, into the description. It's a very, very good website with a ton of, um, of footage for compositing. So let's import it, and I know that I need this one. Okay, so this one is a 6K footage. I know that I just double click on it. I will change the starting point here. Don't want to have the, the beginning, but the middle. Okay, and we're gonna use this one after. For the beginning, I need to make the compositing here of this uh, this uh, primary uh, stuff. So, two things. The first, I need to reduce the background. I need to add the um, I need to add the ambient occlusion, and I need to add the Z defocus. So, first thing first, let's create a shuffle. So, I'm using Tab and typing what I need. So, I'm creating a shuffle. If you don't know how the shuffle works, it's very simple. It's like, um, you know, an angle on a pipe. So every time you have a cross, it's doing like this. The red, boing, and go to the red. The green, boing, and go to the green. It's working like that. It's very, very simple. So the first thing I need to do here is to uh, take the depth. The depth, I, I'm French, so I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, so just uh, using this one and I'm going to put this into the um, the depth of nuke here. So like this I have everything in place. Uh, next I need to create another shuffle and this one is going to be uh, the AO. I'm going to 
check the AO here. Perfect. And the next one is going to be the volume. And you're going to see why I need to create the volume here. So first, let's add a merge and add the AO here. So like this. OK, let's change the merge here with a multiply. And we should have. Yeah, we have a little bit of a little bit of that. As you can see, my render is not perfect because I have some flickering and stuff like this. I, I just focus myself on the volumetric because that's the purpose of this tutorial. So just don't focus yourself on the little stuff that happen onto uh, onto this uh, this render. Just focus yourself on the on this shaft of light. So here I'm okay with that. I need to use my Cryptomate. So if you don't know how to use Cryptomate, just check out my tutorial on it. Uh, sh you should have information somewhere into the screen. Uh, go check out and it's very simple to use, very straightforward. So let's create the Cryptomate here. And here let's click on Picker Add, use Control to uh, click the background. And that's why I'm already creating this volume shuffle here. You're gonna see why. Because here, if I just create a color corrector, just put it right there, and just using the cryptomate, cryptomate mate as a mask, sorry, and just put, just push one on my keyboard to see what happened here. If I just reduce the gain, I'm losing the volume. Why I'm using the volume? It's because here, if you look at it, my alpha is like this. We don't have the volume into the cryptomate. So that's why we need here to reduce the background. So I'm just reducing the background. OK. And I'm just using here another merge and putting the volume on top of it. So if I'm doing this, I have my volume and I'm going to reduce here a little bit my volume because I don't want to add that much, but maybe some somewhere here, not 100%, but somewhere here should be good. Yeah, like this is okay. The next thing we need to do is to create our Z defocus. So Z defocus here. Here I'm just uncheck this one because for the moment, uh, new crash when you have more than two GPUs. So I'm just uh, uncheck this one and I just put it right there. Just do this one. Let's save this out and let's put this in the good spot. Let's change this to uh, let's change this to death. And uh, let's uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is before and after and that's OK for me. So now I know that can I can shake this and it should not crash. Yeah, and it's working. Don't focus yourself on this. It's a bug. I don't know why, but there is a bug on this. Um, the next thing we need to do here is to animate this uh, this uh, focal point. So let's go to the beginning and let me animate this one. So I'm just adding a key here and next I'm going to the end just in the focal point and I'm going to do this on several places here. Okay so my ZDEF is done um, so let's move on now to the dust. So the dust here I need to create a scene, I need to create a camera, I need to create um, a render scan line render. I need to create, let's close that down. Yeah, I need to create a card. And for the moment, that's it. So the camera is already connected. I need to connect my object scene here. And I need to put this here. And I need to connect my card here. And we should good to go here. OK, let's open the camera in file. Let's uh, check read from file. Let's choose our camera that 
that we previously export from Cinema 4D. Let's open it. Yeah, I'm sure. And 25 frame rate. Okay. And we need to um, to put here the card uh, in the good place. So the card for the moment is like this. My camera is here. So my card is too small and not in the good place. So let's create a Regio here. Let's put it here. Uh, I know that I don't need to be rendered. So let's just, I just check off here. And I'm going to read this file with my, um, that we previously exported. And there is all the geo here. So let's create all in one node. Okay, and I have here my scene. So, so it starts to really slow down here, but we're not going to uh, stay with that for a long time. So let's uh, change the car here. I know this is too small, so let's crank this up. Let's rotate it. And I need to put my, uh, my car here in front of my camera. So I need to have something maybe like this. My camera, my camera is here, so maybe something like that. And I need to put it in the same orientation here. So just rotate it, rotate it here like this. And um, and I need to put this down because I know that the shaft is around here. So it should be good. Okay. Let's add the dust here into the cord. And what we what we see here is that we don't have any alpha. So we need to create a keyer. And what the keyer does is is creating an alpha from uh, this image. So if I just press one here, as you can see, if I press A to see the alpha, we have exactly the same image, which is cool. So here we should have a good thing. So let me disable uh, this one here and go to my camera. And we should have dust. Yeah, we are in a good shape here. Okay, by the way, uh, as you can see in my scanline render, I already set up some stuff here. I'm in uh, in the good uh, resolution here. So if you want to change that, just in the node graph, just type S and you just put your FPS and your uh, full size format. So the next thing we wanted to do here is to put the dust just in the right place. So in this place here. So we're going to type Alt K to create a clone of this. And uh, here I'm going to create a shuffle name volume, volume one. And the next thing I wanted to do here is to uh, create a merge like this. So the background is my scanline render and my volume is on top of it. So here, I didn't, I didn't change the volume here. So let's choose the volume. Yeah. And I have this. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to do here. So with this volume here, I need to go here. And as you can see, we don't have any results for the moment. And that's because we need to change this merge into a multiply. And as you can see, we have some dust in place here. So let's add a color correct here by typing C on your keyboard and I can add some gain. And I have now my dust into the, the shaft of light. So we just need now to create a merge. And here I'm going to put the dust on top of all my compositing here. Press one and I'm going to change a little bit the color correct here. And let's see what we have. That's the result of our shot. Some dust into the shaft of this light. 
I hope you liked this tutorial. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to have more tutorials and more tools in the future. And uh, see you next time.